Millions of years ago, the largest living organisms on Earth were one fungi. Approximately 420 to 350 million years ago, during the late Silurian and early Devonian periods, a giant fungus named Prototaxitis existed on planet Earth. It was the tallest living organism on land at that time. One of the most remarkable features of Prototaxitis was its colossal size. Fossilized specimens have been found reaching heights of up to 26 feet and diameters exceeding 3 feet. This enormous size backed the initial belief that Prototaxitis was a tree. But further analysis disproved this notion. Now, fungus belongs to the kingdom fungi, which includes a vast range of organisms, from microscopic molds to towering mushrooms. Fungi come in various forms, with an estimated 2.2 to 3.8 million species identified so far, and potentially millions more awaiting discovery. Unlike plants, Fungi lack chlorophyll and are unable to perform photosynthesis. Instead, they eat or acquire nutrients through absorption, breaking down organic matter in their surroundings. While some fungi are decomposers, others form mutualistic relationships with plants or animals, providing essential nutrients in exchange for carbohydrates, a term known as mycorrhizal associations. The discovery of prototaxitis dates back to the mid-19th century. Sir John William Dawson, a Canadian geologist, first described the peculiar fossilized specimen, which was found in Quebec. He named it prototaxitis, which means first you. The specimens exhibited a distinctive columnar structure, reminiscent of tree trunks, leading Dawson to propose that Prototaxitis was an ancient conifer. Their external surface also displayed concentric rings, which initially led scientists to believe that they were dealing with ancient trees. However, as more fossils were unearthed across different regions, it became apparent that Prototaxitis was not a conventional tree. In the late 20th century, advancements in microscopy and molecular biology facilitated a more accurate understanding of prototaxitis. Studies conducted revealed that the organism lacked the characteristic features of plants but shared similarities with modern fungi. The mycelial structure, presence of chitin in the cell walls, and the absence of plant-specific compounds contributed to the reclassification of prototaxitis as a fungus. Similar fossils of prototaxitis were scattered across different continents, providing a glimpse into the global prevalence of this organism during the late Silurian and early Devonian periods. Mushrooms are the most widely known fungi, and they belong to the phylum Basidiomycota or Ascomycota. These two phyla encompass the majority of mushroom-forming fungi including some of the most well-known species, like the white bottom mushroom. The distinctive cap and stem structure of mushrooms is just one manifestation of fungal reproduction, serving as the reproductive organ of the fungus. The life cycle of mushrooms begin when spores, which are microscopic reproductive cells, are released from the gills on the underside of the mushroom cap. These spores Similar to seeds in plants, they spread into the environment and germinate under favorable conditions. The germinated spores give rise to thread-like structures called hyphae, which weave through the substrate, forming a network known as mycelium. Now, apart from their ecological significance, mushrooms have been integral to human culture for centuries, serving as both a food source and a medicinal resource. However, some type of fungus mushrooms conceal a dark secret, lethality. Among the vast array of fungi, certain species have evolved to produce deadly toxins capable of causing severe harm or even death to humans and animals. The death cap mushroom 
scientifically known as Amanita phalloides, stands as one of the most notorious and poisonous fungi on the planet. With an innocent appearance resembling common edible mushrooms, this deadly species contains amatoxins. These toxins attack the cells, liver and kidneys. Symptoms of poisoning may not manifest for several hours after ingestion, leading to delayed and often fatal treatment. Jaundice, bleeding disorders, and central nervous system involvement may develop, leading to a potentially fatal outcome. It is found in various parts of the world. The death cup mushroom has claimed numerous lives throughout history. Now, the rise of prototaxitis was as mysterious as its decline. By the mid-Devonian period, prototaxitis had disappeared from the fossil record. Several hypotheses have been proposed to explain the decline of prototaxitis. Changes in climate, competition with other organisms, or alterations in nutrient availability may have contributed to its extinction. 